Dune is a franchise filled with complexity, science and spirituality and it's a tough novel to bring to life given that Frank Herbert's book on which the franchise is based often has such vague concepts that they can only be explored through writing and it's even admitted that some scenes were extremely difficult to put together such as the giant sandworms but there's another one with Rebecca Ferguson's Lady Jessica so let's dive into a bit of complexity shall we? Since the sequel will pick up where the first Dune left it off Jessica is going to have to drink the poisonous water of life created by a sandworm. This is because she has to gain the respect of the Freeman and to get her place as the new Reverend Mother. By drinking the water of life, Jessica also gains memories from Reverend Mothers before her and create a shared consciousness. But it's not just drinking water, gaining respect and becoming a Reverend Mother. Another detail that makes the writer's pen more heavy is that Jessica is expecting that's why the water of life doesn't just affect her, but also her unborn daughter, Alia Atreides, creating the next difficulty. Alia is an important character in the book, because she is the one who kills the main antagonist, Baron Vladimir Herkonen, making Alia an unignorable part of the story. To get it all summarized, you maximalist, Denis Villeneuve is supposed to add a storyline based on a fake piece of the story where Jessica is supposed to become a respectful spiritual leader whilst carrying her unborn daughter who is also an unignorable part of the story and the scene is too significant to differ from the book. But we have one final problem to solve. 47, 9, 217. You've got to be kidding me. It was a coat tattooed on Jessica's skin. Might as well use it for the next video.